Hi guys, welcome to episode one of my Pleasant View Let's Play uh, for The Sims 2. And I'm going to be playing all of the pre-made Pleasant View families. That includes the Lavarios, Calientes, Goths, Dreamers, Pleasants, and Burbs, Brokes, and Oldies. So this is um, a fresh install of Pleasant View. This is exactly how the game would be whenever you load a new game, except for I have moved the Burb family into this house at 95 Woodland Drive, and I've moved the Oldie family into 40 Woodland Drive, which is this uh, trailer across the street from Brandy Broke. So the Burbs and the Oldies are uh, families that are normally in the bin when you play, but they uh, have ties to the other families in Pleasant View. Um, actually, the Oldies are Mary Sue Pleasant's adoptive parents, and the Burbs, Jennifer Burb, is Daniel Pleasant's sister. So I always play these two families in Pleasant View because they're part of the Pleasant View overall story. So today we are going to be playing Don Lothario, and I like to play the houses in a certain order. If you play the households in the correct order, there are some scripted events that happen, and this sort of just pushes the story uh, for these characters. I think it was intended as sort of like a tutorial when people came from Sims 1 to Sims 2 to show you all the new features. Uh, like jealousy and cheating and um, there's a whole bunch of different stuff but I like to play it because I feel like it really gets the story going for these characters so the order the suggested order according to the Sims 2 uh, guy Prima guide that I use is you want to play Lothario then Goths then the Calientes, then the Brokes, then the Dreamers, and then the Pleasants in that order. And then I also, I play the Burbs and then the Oldies after that. And they're, they don't have scripted events because they're Ben families, but I, so I just tack them onto the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and get started with Don Lothario. So who is Don Lothario? Is his engagement to Cassandra Goth genuine? And what about the rumor that her mother Bella was last seen scaling the deck of his condo? So if you aren't familiar with the Sims 2 lore, I guess, uh, Bella Goth was Mortimer Goth's wife and she was last seen on Dawn's, uh, on Dawn's roof and she was abducted by aliens and never seen again. So she will not be in our game, but she is the mother of Cassandra Goth and Alexander Goth and we will be playing the Goth family in the next episode. So now we have Don's family, or Don's house, I guess household, because he's the only one in his family loaded. And uh, we're going to go ahead and see what happens. So the first thing that happens is you get this pop up, and it says Don's romantic life is really humming along. Maybe now's the time to pick up, to put the moves on Nina Caliente, pick up the phone, and invite her over. So I see that he has uh, some wants here. So he wants to woohoo with Nina and he wants to call Nina up. He also wants to woohoo with Dina, which is Nina's twin sister. And he wants to woohoo with three different Sims. So before I get started playing him, uh, one of the things that I like to do is because Dawn is uh, in the medical career already, I'm going to go ahead and give him a college degree. I'm going to assume that he did attend college before he entered the medical career. Um, and Because he was created pre-university, I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade him and give him a, um, a college degree. So this is the bat box. I'm just going to upgrade Sim pre-uni and I'm going to give him I'm going to give him a biology degree since he is in the medical career. So there we go. Now he has his degree and he also has the six want slots. Luckily he still has the same wants. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, let me see here. I want to lock, he can lock two wants now. So this one gives 8,000 aspiration. This one gives 3,500. So I'm going to lock this one. I'm going to lock these two for now. And then I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of the bat box. Okay, so now he's ready to go. And I use a uh, my own aging system, and I use the SimLogical aging hack to uh, change the ages of my Sims. And I think I need to go in to SimPE and change his age. But in my world, Don is 31 years old at this point. And if you're interested in my aging system or my gameplay rules, you can see those on my blog, and I'll put the link to that uh, down below. So now we're going to go ahead and get started, and we're going to call up Nina. 
and this music that plays it this music isn't found anywhere else in the game so it's pretty cool as long as you can get him to not turn on the radio which he loves to do it'll keep playing this music um, throughout his little uh, story arc here so we're gonna call up Nina and invite her over she's gonna be right over okay so now his place is like really disgusting because he's a slob and he doesn't clean so we're gonna get him to clean up a little bit before she comes over yeah I know he hates it he gets all pissed off when you try to make him clean ah uh, the garden club lady is here and I really thought that I had a mod to turn that off but maybe I need to relook at my mods because she's here so we're just gonna ignore her she just hangs out and rings the doorbell all day and never goes away but we're gonna pretend she's not there um, okay so Don's back he's cleaning up okay this place is a mess use the phone to hire a maid so we're gonna go hire a maid to help him get his house together And while he's doing that, I just want to pause so I can read this. So, Don wants to win Nina over, and it looks like she's slowly succumbing to his wily charms. Maybe now's the time to suggest a romantic soak in the hot tub. All right. So, he's going to finish. Yeah. Yes, that's fine. So, this is Kaylin Langerak, and if you're not familiar, Don is also having an affair with her. So I think the point of this story arc is to get her to come over while he's with Nina in the hot tub and see if he's going to get caught or not. About 50% 50 50 of the time that I play Dawn, he gets caught, and about 50% of the time he doesn't. So I'm, we'll just see what happens if she catches him or if she doesn't. Yes. So now he's going to go greet Nina. <laughs> the garden lady's just hanging around out there ringing the doorbell we don't want you here that was a nice greeting what are they doing oh they're gonna play red hands okay that's weird don't play red hands why don't you come up here and make some drinks Oh, she's she likes what she sees. <laughs> well, follow him up there, Nina. He's making drinks for you guys. Okay, and it looks like Kaylin just got here. So, this there could be some drama if she comes upstairs. Where is Nina? Okay. All right, well, they just passed by each other in the kitchen, and nobody said anything. Okay, Don, what are you doing? You don't, you already made drinks. You don't need to make more drinks. He must really want to get drunk. Okay, well, you're out of time to drink, because Nina's over here in the hot tub, and you need to go and join her now. So, this is going to be interesting. Oh, he's going to have a drink first anyway. All right, well, just, okay, now that I'm done with work, would you like to hang out? I'm going to say no. I think if I say yes, then she's going to come up here and catch him with Nina in the hot tub and get all mad, and that's going to be a whole thing. So I'm going to say no. She's going to leave, and he can talk to her again later. All right, there she goes. So she's not going to catch them together. You think she would suspect something was up when she passed by Nina in the kitchen, but I guess she just trusts Don. She really shouldn't. He's a womanizer. Okay, so he's he's happy to see Nina. He's going to talk about time. I don't know what that means. Old times, maybe? Talk about soda? Yeah, he likes soda, too. Okay, that's enough of that. Get over there and cuddle. Oh, he didn't like whatever they were just talking about. Okay, how about... You should probably kiss a little bit first before you just jump right in. Alright, we'll have them make out. 
The way they make out in the hot tub is so funny. Okay, what? What happened? What are you doing, Dawn? Okay, what's going on? Alright, get back in there. I don't know why he just got out of the hot tub all of a sudden. Alright. Alright, let's cuddle again. He wants to talk about food. And tennis. No, what are you doing? Okay, something weird is going on. He keeps getting out of the hot tub. Alright, get... Get back in. I don't know what his deal is. Alright. Cuddle. Okay, what is going on? Alright, let's shoo her out of the way. I don't know what the deal is. Okay, he's going to go to the bathroom. Maybe that's why he kept getting out and he had to go to the bathroom. Okay, another thing that I'm going to do while he's in the bathroom is I am going to... Where's my Sim Blender? Alright. I gotta remember how to do this. I want to make her selectable, so... Pretty sure I can do that here somewhere. Miscellaneous, no. Okay, maybe it's not through the sim blender. I'm going to turn on testing cheats. I can't remember how to do it. Okay, one second while I, while I find out. Okay, I figured it out. So I just had to turn testing cheats enabled on and then shift clicker. I don't know why I was thinking that I had to go through the uh, sim blender. But anyway, so now she is selectable. So the reason why I'm doing this, I'm not going to play her or like pay attention to her at all. I'm going to pretend like she's not selectable. But the reason why I'm doing this is because I use a mod for Risky Woohoo. So every time a sim woohoos, they have a 20% chance, chance of getting pregnant. So if she's not selectable that doesn't count it's only for your playable sims so when she and dawn woohoo she has a chance of getting pregnant and i won't know of course because i also have silent pregnancy so i won't know if she actually gets pregnant until i go and play her but this is just i feel like it's more realistic okay he needs to get in the hot tub what is he doing Ah, oh, we have this horrible fortune teller. I want nothing to do with your services. Leave me alone. Dawn does not need you. Okay, stop drinking and get in the hot tub with your woman. Okay, let's try this again. Cuddle. Okay, they have a 100% relationship. They have two bolts. There we go. Alright, and I'm just going to have them woohoo. I'm tired of playing around. And you can see he's in a relationship with Dina, Cassandra, Kaylin, and Nina. Or not in a relationship. He's not in a relationship with Dina, but he has a crush on her. Okay, what happened? They got stuck. Oops. Okay, what is going on? Why are they stuck together? He just blinked. That's so creepy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um. We're going to reset him because that is weird. Reset. Okay. I don't know what was going on there. Let's try again. <laughs> That was so creepy. Alright, ask her to join you. Maybe if he's on that side, it's going to work better. Alright, come on. 
All right, cuddle. She really likes to talk about soda. There we go. Okay, now woohoo. <laughs> I love these cutscenes in The Sims 2. It's, I really miss that in the other Sims games. Oh, you can see his engagement ring too, because he's engaged to Cassandra, but, and he's getting married to her tomorrow, but that doesn't seem to stop him. <laughs> oh, Dawn. Okay, so that went well. That worked out. He is in platinum mood now because he uh, fulfilled those wants. So I'm going to go ahead and lock the want to woohoo with Dina and lock the want to woohoo with five different sims. And he is done with Nina. That is what he wanted. So he's going to go ahead and get out and say goodbye to her. Oh, he's still cuddling. All right, go here. Get out of the hot tub. <sighs> She's hungry anyway. Okay, well you can go home now. Uh, how can he say goodbye? She's getting back in the hot tub. No, 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 no. Okay. Where's ask to leave or say, oh, ask. No. Where is say goodbye? Am I just missing it? No. No. Okay, I don't know why he can't say goodbye to her. You need to leave, Nina. You need to go. Get out of here. He's gonna go get something to eat. He's gonna make an Italian sub. That is a custom food that I have for my uh, Sims that don't have any cooking skill. And look, his shower is filthy. I thought what's her name was supposed to clean that. Oh, he can't say goodbye to her because she's still selectable. Oh my gosh, what am I thinking? So we're going to make unselectable and then he's going to say goodbye. There we go. Okay, after he eats, it's fine. Oh my gosh, this uh, fortune teller lady is still hanging around outside. So annoying. Okay, so he's going to make his sandwich. I'm going to speed that up a little bit because that's kind of boring. And you can see what the sandwich looks like. Alright, hurry up, Dawn. Now go say goodbye to Nina. Okay. Say goodbye. We just cannot get rid of her. Okay, that's nice. Goodbye. See you later, Nina. Thanks for stopping by. And now he is immediately going to go and call. See, he was going for the radio. He wants to turn on salsa music. I hate that salsa music. Okay. He is going to call up her sister, Dina, to come over. It was because he wants to woohoo with her. And if she asks if my friend can come too, you're going to want to say no because she will bring Nina back with her and then everybody gets really upset. <laughs> when she... Okay, so he is just going to... Oh, he's going to clean up. I can't believe it. He never cleans anything. Good for you, Dawn. All right. 
right. He can watch TV while he's waiting for Dina to show up and she's... Oh, here she comes. Never mind. Forget the TV. Come greet Dina. Okay, and so if we check their relationship panel, they are not, they don't have a red heart to show that they're in love, so they're not going to be able to woohoo. So we're just going to have them do a few more romantic interactions. Let's see. Give her a smooch. Oh, she likes it. Oh, what is he doing? Don't tell her a dirty joke. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's see if she likes it. Oh, she loved it. She loved it. Okay, well, just make out with her. <laughs> oh, my. We'll see if this will put them into love territory. Nope, not quite. Alright, give her a hug. Give her a squeeze. <laughs> Let's see if that did it. Not yet. Almost. They're so close. Uh, kiss up arm. Oh my gosh, come on. Alright, let's um, give her a tender kiss then. I think it usually happens like a lot faster than this. I don't know, understand what's going on, so. Come on, guys, get on with it. <laughs> okay, they're still not. That's really weird. I think, like, after 70, they should have had the red heart. Oh, I just realized I haven't given him his um, aspiration benefits. So I'm going to give him the romance tree. And so he has smooth talk, which is very helpful for him because he tends to get caught cheating a lot. So. Um, local legend, word of his romantic prowess is spread through town, and neighbors of your preferred gender are more likely to be found coincidentally strolling past your house. Um, slower hygiene and energy decay, and massive attraction. So I don't know if that's going to help, but I'm also going to give him, uh, I'm not going to give him the work tree because he really, um, he goes to work, but he's more interested in fun. So I'm going to give him the slower need uh, social and comfort decay. Okay, let's try this again. Give her a hug. A romantic hug. She is very attracted to him. Oh, finally. Oh, no, she's in love with him, but he's not in love with her yet. Give her another kiss. Oh, she's she's fallen for him. She's fallen for his wily charms. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now he's in love with her too. Okay, so he, I'm going to have him go up into the bed and relax. And then he's going to ask Dina to join him. Okay, get comfortable, Dina. Alright. Oh, and I am going to make her selectable for this, just in case. Alright. 
And they are going to woohoo. Wow, Don. Two two ladies in one day, the day before you get married. Twin sisters, too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, all right, so now he has the want to make out with three different sims, woohoo with five different sims, have five loves at once, okay, 5,000, 8,000, okay, we're going to do that one and that one. And before you go to sleep, Dawn, you need to say goodbye. Okay, we need to make her unselectable now. So get up, and she's got to leave. You have to get married tomorrow. She cannot stay here tonight. So say goodbye. Wow, he's really, uh, really running there. Oh, I think she's just going on her own. Okay. So he, let's take care of his needs. He's hungry. He needs to use the bathroom, take a shower, and then he'll get a snack and go to bed. He's so sloppy when he takes a shower. When your really sloppy sims take a shower, they get water everywhere. Okay, just have a snack. It's just have some cookies. Wow, he is really getting that floor wet there. Don is super buff too. Look at that six pack. And he's sloppily eating his cookies. <laughs> That's so gross, Don. You're such a slob. Oh my gosh, who is calling at this time of night? It's midnight. Alright, go answer the phone and see who's calling you at midnight. It's Kaylin. Wow. Okay, well, go ahead and talk to her, I guess. Let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, he turned on salsa music. I knew he was going to do it. Okay, turn that off and go to bed. Okay, and that pretty much does it for episode one. Um, Don is going to get married to Cassandra tomorrow, or he is scheduled to get married to her. I don't know if they're actually going to go through with it. So join me for episode two uh, when we play the goth household, and let's see what happens. Thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want more information about my sims, I have all of their profiles, their family trees, and my gameplay rules uh, are on my blog, pleasantsims.com, so I'll put the links below. Thanks, and see you next time.